Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited that you joined me today and I'm excited to show you what I'm going to be making. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. Today I'm going to do a hydro dip. And this cup actually belongs to a friend of mine who asked me to um, work on it and put a design. And I'm going to be doing the hydro dip with a little bit of black, maybe some white, uh, some golden rod, and some purple. And uh, I mostly want the gold and the purple on here, but I may use a little bit of the black or the white to break it up. So I'm going to start by putting just a little bit of black into the water and then I'm going to start alternating with the purple and the gold and I just kept spraying a couple of squirts each time and then gave it a break in the middle and put a little bit more of the black right here and then went back to alternating between the gold and the purple and it looks like it's moving all to the edges but you'll see in a minute how it comes back into the center so that when I put the cup down into it um, all those uh, designs that it makes. See how it pulls it back in and then I'm going to go in at an angle and I put the lid on with a bag on top of it to keep any of the paint from getting inside of the cup. Then I'm going to push it down all the way and then swirl it out. Look how cool this is. Oh my gosh this is my favorite part right here. Oh, I love it. Those colors are awesome. So I'm going to take this in and I'm going to use my air gun and blow it off and let it dry for about 24 hours and then I'm going to put a layer of resin on it. This is what it looks like after it dried. I'm getting ready to put resin on it and I'm using Fro Rizzle which is a one-to-one -one ratio and I used uh, 15 milliliters to cover the cup. Look at that design. Is that not wild? And there was a couple places where it needed touching up and all I did was uh, use some of the purple, sprayed it in a little cup and a little bit of the gold and then just used a uh, brush and touched up anywhere that it looked like it needed to be um, a little more color added. So I purchased these um, decals. Uh, they're actually um, SVG and PNG um, files and um, bought the commercial so that I could put this on the cup for them and I printed it off on um, white water slide paper and I printed it, I put it through the printer twice so that it would be really vibrant and stand up and uh, give it some depth from the cup. And I also coated it with three layers of clear spray sealer, um, matte spray sealer to seal the colors in onto the water slide. So you just throw it in some water, let it lay in there, work it around a little bit. Make sure that every bit of the backer paper is really good and wet. And when you see it start to move, then you know that it is ready to put onto your cup. So I just add a little bit of water to the cup itself. And then I slid the backer paper out from underneath it. And my L tried to mess up a little bit, so I had to unfold it. 
and now I'm just working the water out from beneath the water slide and making sure it stays where I want it. I want to make sure that the letters are straight. Checking out that. And there's just a little bit right here that I needed to work with. The pole on the other hand was also folded under. So there it is. I'll let this dry for a minute and then we'll do the back. And again, you just let the water slide soak until it is moving off of the back paper. I wet my cup and then I place it where I want it. And once I get it where I want the design to be, I slide the water paper out, the backer paper out. And then again, smooth it onto the cup. Make sure that I get all that water out from beneath it. And then I'm going to let this dry overnight and then I'm going to add a another layer of um, fro rizzle resin which will be another 15 milliliters and then I'm also going to add um, his initials not monogrammed but just initials I'm making sure there's no water under there and that everything is flat against the cup with no bubbles. So now I've got my layer of resin over here and it's looking really good and I'm going to put the initials right down here. Still love this part of the cup. This is my favorite right there where that purple is at. But we're going to put the initials right here. And so what I did was I cut the initials out twice. First I cut them out with the gold and then with the purple and I think I'm going to go with the gold on the bottom and then the purple on top. Making sure that it is all lined up exactly and I've got an eyeball uh, point there on the cup that I'm using to um, use as my center point. And that's where I think I want it. So I'm going to put it on some um, sticky paper and then put that on there. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the purple, pull off the backer paper, and then I'm going to offset it just a little bit so that you can see the gold outline beneath the purple. But I got a little bitty bubble right here on the bottom of the B, so I want to fix that. Got it all fixed now. And the J just did not want to go as far over as I wanted it to. So I just cut the tape and put it where I wanted it and then removed. Now it is ready to get another layer of resin and that's its final coat of resin and here is how it looks. I love these colors. Oh my goodness, they turned out so gorgeous. And it was perfect color, paint colors to match with the um, decals and they really stand out from the cup by printing them twice and getting that, um, that extra color on the decal. I still love this part right here. It's still my favorite. <laughs> but I just think it's great. The letters, you can see how they're offset looks good. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
And if you have, please click like and share. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can hit that subscribe button now. And if you ring that bell, you'll get notified when I upload future videos. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below. And I love your feedback and I'd um, like to hear what you think about it. And um, all these things help my channel grow. And I certainly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I can't thank all of you enough who take the time out of your day to watch what I'm making or creating or how it turns out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye-bye for now.